I'm Ginger Jesus. This is Nerd Foo. All right. I was uh, at Nerd Fair Con in Linwood, and I was talking with these guys who do, like, full armored combat with blunted metal weapons. And I was like, ooh, <laughs> daddy like. But, you know, they're nowhere near me. <clears throat> Getting to them on a regular basis would be inconvenient, to say the least. They're like a two and a half hour drive from me. On I-5, I don't think so. So, but, I did have a chance to pick up a proper longsword waster, which I haven't done in a while. And the first thing I remembered was the blade being flat, and I remember, you know, playing with it, a lot of the different things you could do with that flat blade with your opponent. You can move their opponent, you can, you can use it to guide your opponent, you can use that flat blade as a flat surface to move your opponent's sword around. You know what you can't do that with? A round blade. Cannot use this to manipulate your opponent's sword like you can a flat blade. It's a completely different surface. It's a completely different animal. It's a completely different weapon because of this. I know it looks the same and it has a lot of similarities and a lot of same principles, but when it comes down to the finer points of combat, we're talking about a completely different style of training. Because the blade is round, it has more of a bounce to it. Hitting your opponent's sword hard, moving them out of the way, is going to get you a lot more oomph than if you were to move their weapon with the blade. <clears throat> because the blade is round, it is easier for them to go around. It is easier for your opponent to move around your weapon, because your weapon is as round as theirs is. It, adds a, it, it creates different angle opportunities for combat. Now, I have no problem taking the lightsaber seriously as a weapon, even though it is not a sword. Simply because a sword is archaic and useless. A sword is not... You cannot use a sword in today... In today's world, you cannot carry a sword around with you and not be looked at like you're a goddamn crazy person, right? It just isn't going to happen. They're not culturally relevant. So why do we do it? Why do we, why do we pick up swords and use them as if we intend to use them? Because it's fun, and we enjoy it, and it keeps us healthy, and we feel better afterwards, and the endorphins are there, and we have fun with competition and making friends and sparring. <clears throat> Which is why I stop giving Olympic fencers shit. They're having fun. They're getting physical. They're enjoying themselves. It's just a completely different sport. That's fine. Still not gonna do Olympic fencing though. Okay, so I'm doing push hands with my wrestler buddy. We took a couple months off. We got back up in the park. Last week we went through the form again. This week we started doing push hands again. And with me dropping into my quads, me kind of figuring out a lower lower power, I was I discovered that it was a lot easier for me to maintain my balance and my center. But it was also a lot easier for me to overextend when I wasn't paying attention. And to his credit, every time I overextended, he pulled me. Um, uh, same as I do with him. It's, it's our job to get each other better at moving our weight around. So when the other person goes back or forward too far, we tunk or tunk. It's just it's what you do. The thing being, because I've mentioned him being a wrestler and doing hard hands, some 
sometimes he likes to turn it up a bit, you know, instead of kind of meeting me with my soft hands and trying to figure out what I'm doing, trying to emulate what I'm doing, trying to learn what I'm doing with soft hands, because he does that as well, sometimes he likes to turn on the hard hands and move in on me, which I encourage. But I've discovered that when that happens, it requires actual arm and shoulder strength. We cannot yin our way through their yang without either extensive, extensive, extensive years of practice or some actual force behind it. Because Tai Chi is not about defeating yang with the yin. It is about using yang and yin together to defeat your opponent. It is about balancing your own internal yin and yang. Which means left and right, top and bottom, physically balanced. My body is physically balanced. My physical balanced body will defeat yours simply because you cannot take me off my feet. Well, <clears throat> no, no, no. He knocked me down pretty good. He came in pretty hard a couple times and I could not control him. He just pushed me around. I mean, I managed to pull him a couple times, but yeah, he, he got me pretty good. It's, it's a reminder that um, uh, the Tai Chi update is still going. Tonight I start Aikido. Kind of helped me relearn how to be soft because I've been, I've been getting harder and harder with him. I'm taking Aikido to reteach me how to be soft, and um, uh, I'm going to learn how to be hard with him. Hopefully somewhere in the middle we find the proper balance. I'm Nerd Fu. I'm Ginger Jesus. This is Nerd Fu. Be good to yourselves out there.